Welcome to another episode of Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. Our guest for this evening is a very senior artist who had been a self-taught artist. He is a graduate in science from Guwahati University, but he followed his passion of getting involved with the arts, painting and the cultural arena of Assam. He is the founder member of the Guwahati Artists Guild. He had been a general secretary. He had also been the president of the Guwahati Artists Guild. And he has retired from his services from the Food Corporation of India, Guwahati. He is actively associated with art and cultural activities in Assam. Apart from painting, he has also ventured in writing poetry and some of his poems have been transformed into wonderful melodies in the Assamese cinema. We have with us a very senior artist, Aminul Hop, in the studios of AFTA. Thank Welcome, you, Aminul. Thank you, thank you. you have been into the art for a quite a long time. It's about, it's about 50, 50, 50 years, more than 50, more than 50 years. years. Yeah. And uh, you have accomplished five solo exhibitions, yeah. starting from a very uh, 75. Solo exhibition of your paintings in 1975 at the Hazi Musafir Khana in Guwahati. Yeah. But after that, after about 10 years in 1985, you have exhibited solo at the State Art Gallery Guwahati. And in 96, you, you seem to be having a gap of about 10 years for uh, organizing your one man shows. And you have in 1996 uh, one man the Academy of Fine Arts Kolkata, followed which you had a solo song in the Gallery Artist Guild, uh, that, that was the gallery in Guwahati. And the last major one man show is in 2017, which was held at Lalit Kala Academy, New Delhi. Apart from that, you have participated in several group exhibitions, uh, whether it is the World Youth Festival in Guwahati, the Assam Fine Arts and Craft Society, or exhibiting in a group at the Northeastern Hill University, Shillong. Apart from that, you have participated in several, several uh, exhibitions conducted by ICCR, the Director of Cultural Affairs, Shankar Dev Kalakshetra, the Birla Academy, and your ex exhibits have also been exhibited in Baroda and in other places in India. I was going through your uh, very elaborate uh, CV and I was wondering, you are a graduate in science from Guwahati University. Yeah. You are a self-taught artist. Why did you venture in the field of art? Actually, <clears throat> it happened because I had a good student in painting in, uh, in early life, actually. I stood, uh, I studied in Tanbaskui School, where the fathers of the Tanbaskui School used to teach us how to draw, how to enlarge a painting with the cap, with hand and cap. And and I found in the magazines, I studied the magazines there, the, the, the name was published as Aminul Haq stood third highest marking painting. Okay. That is the reason there. I so that, that, that was the motivation for you? It continued. That was the motivation. Motivation, it continued to about uh, about three, four years like that. Uh, Aminulda Hawk is also very fondly called as Akulda. He had also been a, a teacher to me when I wanted to also venture for studying in finance. But then 
there are other aspects when I talk to him. The thing is that uh, who patronized? Was there anyone who patronized your art in your family? Because that is where it starts in the beginning. Actually, no one was there to patronize me because I was uh, not in home actually. I, from class six, I left to Gualpara to study in Sainik school, Gualpara. Okay. And in Sainik school, sir, there was a, a good teacher from Santini who you came know, to teach us how to draw, how to draw on uh, the block of wooden blocks like this. And commercial, actually, this is a commercial painting, of course. And I used to see them working in the afternoon, how they walk, how they do, with technical technology, uh, they achieve. And from that onward, I was uh, interested in painting. So that so, was that, that next, was your basic uh, learning? Basic learning, yeah. Uh, and and, and, I, and I, I, I experienced with uh, some watercolor, a very basic watercolor, like a raining, Yuxapula, uh, Kobla, I used to draw uh, in Sunday school, and it was this place in a, uh, a school, what you board. School board means that there was a uh, weekly, some articles were paste in a wall magazine. Kind wall of magazine type. Yeah. And there I just put that paintings everywhere. And everybody encouraged me to just continue the work. Uh, though I was not so uh, yeah, uh, good in study, of course, I used to paint and sing. Okay. Okay? And basically, apart from that, one interesting thing is there. That I told you, no, it is not uh, my life. Let's start with boxing. Okay. I was a boxer actually there. I used to play boxing. And uh, where I broke my nose. And then only, but that is not the thing. I just, uh, I was interested in painting only. But no one from the family sponsored me to do like that. Only uh, some teachers of this uh, uh, school, in Sydney school, uh, told me that you better pursue go to Sandy Niket and study there only. I had th thought that I will go to Sandy Niket and somewhere and I will paint, I will, I, will, I will study painting. But it never occurred, I came back. Okay, to but then uh, that didn't happen. But then you are a practicing artist. Yeah. And the uh, amount of work that you have been doing, you have done till now, is enormous. You have a lot of uh, paintings and you have your own style. Mm -hmm. You know, paintings, they speak of your uh, different kind of, you know, it, it is <laughs> entirely your technique, your style, you, which you have learned by doing. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, made a lot of, a lot of work and, and th those are remarkable work. They have been collected in different places. And uh, it gives me a pleasure also to, uh, you know, say that uh, Avinu Hawk has been awarded the prestigious Benu Mishra Memorial NRL Award 2024. So that's a big achievement for you, Amanulda. How do you feel after getting this award at this point of time of your life? Actually, Benu Mishra was my uh, guru. So I would say, not guru, actually from him we could study the, the, the philosophy of drawing. Say about the line drawing, about the color, about the uh, uh, Painting from him only we acquired the knowledge to exercise our works like that only. Before that, I want to say that uh, before I met Benu Mishra, before the Bhadia Artist Guild, I studied in Ajabita Bit College. And I, from Ajabita Bit College, Ajabita Bit College, in the college week, uh, I participated in the first competition in Assam, first art competition that held in college. But that was and which year? Around? That, is, that is about 71. Okay. 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 I just started in life. Yeah. 71. Where I 
drew uh, uh, some laborers are working in a building mm. with a lot of bamboos. It's an un unusual subject, it means. Uh, I used to draw the something unusual thing. Okay. First thing, I changed my subject to something complicated, something new to me. No, I, I have never copied works from others. Okay. okay. So, uh, that I first I uh, drew in the uh, competition and I, I stood first. And Hiran Guha was there to look at paintings. Okay. He called me and said, uh, that's it. And said, uh, okay, you have done a very nice work and with the uh, labor, with uh, with thought of uh, some the communism type of work, the labor working in the field, and they encouraged me. And with him uh, were based uh, this uh, critics of the art, uh, Mr. Nilani Pukan, but she was there. He okay. was our teacher in Arjavidya that uh, gave me something more, more interesting. Then I met Benjamin and I saw his powerful drawing. Mm -hmm. But I was uh, uh, very much interested in drawing with Picasso and M.F. Okay. Yeah. My first exhibition was based on the, uh, some works I attended from the M.F. Okay. So I, I used to draw his portrait also mm -hmm. for exhibition. Mm -hmm. and I did I, somewhere, somewhere, some so, relation. Yeah. So most of your work that you have done is uh, self-taught and you have uh, been inspired by the work of Pablo Picasso mm -hmm. and M. F. Hussein. Most of, uh, I mean, they have similarity mm -hmm. in their work and uh, thing. And uh, how did you venture into writing poetries? And to... then it became lyrics for so such this... wonderful songs or wonderful melodies for so, the uh, I tried my uh, my inner feelings to express. So I think I went I went studying in Sunny Sugarpur. Uh -huh. uh, first thing there from the boxer I just changed to singing. Okay. So some of my friends used to uh, go to stage and used to sing. Uh -huh. I tied my singing there also. So that period, Bhupen Harika songs were like that. Uh, a, uh, a very nice, uh, yeah, Silamani Goduli and all these things. Uh, and I got a lot of time in this sense of there. And I, uh, in an annual exhibition, I sang for the school. Okay. Okay. Was a stage performance of there. Our principal, Madam, uh, of Mrs. Principal, uh, told me that it encouraged me to go to, with the songs. Okay. So, uh, that, that means you had some really very good teachers. Yeah. And um, this podcast is actually, uh, uh, I have started this podcast keeping in mind that how the students of this generation mm. can be motivated and inspired mm. by uh, the guests who will, be, who will be sharing their life, you know, their entire lifetime. And uh, it's, it's so wonderful, you know, to see that we really had some very good <coughs> teachers. So, how did you venture into this uh, world of music in the cinema? Your songs have been composed and they were wonderful songs. Would you just tell me some of the songs and the films? Actually, I told you that I used to sing. Huh. Mm. No, your poems that were converted into. No, I'm huh. saying that when I failed to sing, when okay. my my voice was not there, okay. I, because I I didn't have any training, mm -hmm. so I left out singing, not to sing, because I have to learn something from the gurus. No, I couldn't get the gurus, the boarding schools. Mm -hmm. and then. Uh, I, I, I had thought of mind to, that I, if I can't sing, I'll write lyrics. Okay. That was my vision. Mm -hmm. Okay, painting is something different. That is related with lyrics also. So, I used to write poetry, mm -hmm. lyrics, in small diaries, where I studied in Sunday school. 
So I came back when I came back to Guwahati. Mm. Uh, I uh, went to. I used to go to. Before they be, become uh, from the uh, the Ali also, they, we I used to uh, go to this uh, all India radio. This uh, what you call uh, children program was there. Okonin Mel, mm. and then Zubawani. When I came from Sunny School to, to this place, I met with my, some of uh, uh, good friend who sings, All right. a singer family. So I used to go to their house. Uh, one of my friends is Bipul Barua. His father was a Mukul Barua. So I used to, because he was near my home in Sunny, South Sarania, there I used to go to you know, visit their home and I used to hear the things. And when I went to Zubavani also, I used to see, write some songs, small, small songs. That was uh, sung by some of the issues in Malayam, in Pandu. Uh, that is, I started with lyrics, with, with chorus. Mm -hmm. Then after I used to write some songs, I, I had a, a good friend when I entered into office, uh, that is uh, Food Corporation of India. And, and there I met uh, some of the good friends like Samar Ajayika, brother of Bhupan Ajayika, and Tawami is uh, Bhupan Ujir. And some of the local some singers like them, Apurva Vesbara, Gananda, which means Dhananda Pathak. Then I had some composed some songs. I I felt I thought that now I will have to get some recognition from all in the radio. Then I wrote some songs, about 25 songs they required. And I wrote and I put the, uh, I, I have given to, in the hand of uh, yeah. To the station director. Station director, uh, there was okay. a man. Okay. Yeah, man, man. Kogan Mount was there. So what happened, what happened to those 25 songs? For recognition, they, okay. I, I had, I just copied some drawing and okay. uh, the songs and I, Gave to his to see whether it is uh, whether as, it as per norms or not. Okay. Because okay. it needs some uh, children's song, a patriotic song, some lyrics like that. that mixture of some painting mm -hmm. like Found that my books and lyrics books were lost. I was very much upset. And then I, then I promised that I'll somewhere, sometime I will write and render some. In the film, so okay. In the film. Okay. So <coughs> I started to write something small, small uh, uh, songs. That time, in the year I think nineteen eighties, eighty four, like that, the small cassette was okay. Okay, the cassette was used to uh, come out in the field. Mm -hmm. Some songs, some uh, Sami songs. Uh, there was one cassette called Ragini. Okay. And the Ragini cassette, I gave some, uh, Bupenujir was director. He told me to give some song. So I used to stay and uh, write some songs for children and for adults. Of that, it, I think I have five, six songs was recorded there, in Ragini. And then after I wrote some uh, uh, what you call chorus in office, for office chorus. And that means I start my painting, then one opportunity came uh, for a film that's called Devi. And that was also directed by the Mr. Director of Penuchi. I used to walk in the same bed, same office. So I used to sit in the evening and compose those, compose those songs okay. song with the music. Okay. He used to give the music, ta 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 I used to write something, okay, ta 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 ta. Okay. Then uh, I used some of the songs, then 
I discontinued after some years, of course, because of the lack of, because I came to Guwahati Artists Guild. No? Okay. So your journey um, uh, began with the establishment of the Guwahati Artists Guild. Yeah. You were the founder members. Can you tell me something about that? Okay. I How, why did you, uh, because you were the founder member, I mean, very few founder members are uh, now okay. aware. So you can share why did you think of setting up another artist society? You know that uh, there was a Nimpa uh, Bandura was a... Yes, uh, Asam uh, Fine Arts and Crafts Society. Yes, that was established in 1971. Hmm. And we were studying that time in the college, just studying our... Just studying. I had some uh, good friend who took out like light uh, notely. From the, from the after from the seventy one we used to work in the colleges. I used to I was the secretary, the final secretary. Then I established managing. Devotee was studying in Bibura College. He also uh, secretary of finance. And in nineteen seventy three, there was a World Yacht Festival in Enter, where Berlin. And Benu Mishra was, was in, invited in Bali at that time. I didn't meet Benu Mishra at the time. Dhrubodeka, me, we had one participate in uh, some painting. Uh, first painting, because we don't know about the, what is oil painting, what is watercolor. But the only difference that t -t -t when I, technology was new to us. Okay. There was some York Festival in Bali University in 1972. Or three like that only. The, we participated. Dhubadi was my friend then. And there we met Nani Barpozari. That completely happened. We three. Dhuba, me, Noni. And that is uh, what you call uh, Bhunas. Bhunas means Pabrinan Bhattacharji. Mm -hmm. uh, Chakrabarti, that story. Mm -hmm. And lots of painters was there in that in what university. And that is the turning point. And that time we were staying in Gandhi University, Silpukhuri. That area we just into room like that only. One, uh, one restaurant was there, Kapili, that we used to give that was your that place was where you uh, had some tea and stuff like that. For an adult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then after meeting Tripodeka, I met Rajan Ajayka was there. And Rajan Ajayka was a very enthusiast about doing something, painting. <coughs> Some miracle works he had, done, he had done. One of the interesting was that every day he used to hear this, uh, uh, this song, what you call uh, radio songs. And he used to paint some okay. of these things and used to present. And that way we met Rajan Mahajika, Dhruvoteka, me, and we used to go to the finance in Jasfield by working that mm -hmm. time. Me, Noni Bhagavad Gita was nearby, Gandhi was there. Because, because of this locality, you now we used to meet each other in very frequently. And from them we used to go to uh, Pulagagoi's house. house we used to go to this Penumistra's office and we had some, our relation was when he was brought in. No, mm -hmm. brought in. So, then we thought we, had a, we don't have any degrees. We thought that we will not get any membership in final secondary. Okay. Yes, we know in the Nipavan was from Santi Nikhil mm -hmm. and we, we saw that everybody from Santi Nikhil came to that his place. Mm -hmm. And we used to make some exhibitions there. And we had no idea what to do then. We used to see the film, to write, to go to work. That time, Venu um, Mishra uh, commercial work, uh, something was book cover design. And we had a good relation with Ben Mr. Mm -hmm. We do with, 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 with Rajan Hajarika. Rajan Hajarika took us to everybody's house 
like that. And that time for livelihood, this uh, Nani was watching semantic printers. Okay. Okay, some, some graphic shops we have to do. And Benu Master gave us the key drawing of some cupboard and we used to go to this, uh, uh, this Bismarck printers, mm -hmm. uh, publication board. And then okay. we used to roam like anything, do to get some money. We used to work in Benu Master's, that he was working in uh, publication. publication board, and publication board has usually uh, did some exhibition in some places. They used to do the small work. Okay. From where we were getting mm -hmm. the earnings, no? Mm -hmm. Then we met after meeting, we started with let us have a, let us have a, uh, uh, group. Uh, that is the uh, artist group, so that we can get uh, a better earning and doing something else. Because of fine if you don't get the, anything like that only, but least. So Benu Mistura was uh, in a, uh, was staying in the Benu that means he went to his house that time. Mm -hmm. He left with me in the house. And before that, we made, uh, we discussed about something, Pernumso and Radhanika and Noni Bhattari. We used to study about the Sola Mandalam. Okay. Sola Mandalam was a working place uh, founded by Kisis mm -hmm. Panika from Madras. Mm -hmm. And some of those studies established at the, the Madras only. And they used to walk in the studio. They used to do some boutique, some sculptures, some other works also. And they used to sell. Okay. From that, they used to get the money. Mm -hmm. We had a thought like that. Mm -hmm. Let us have some uh, place and do some commercial work. Mm -hmm. Not finance. We okay. love with the finance. Finance, mm -hmm. let us do some commercial so that an artist can survive. Mm -hmm. From this economic point of view, is uh, from that <coughs> uh, one day uh, Arinda told me that let us uh, we have talked about this uh, uh, means one for guild that means artist forum. Uh, one name is Guwahati Artist Guild and. We didn't have any effect, and Benu told me that uh, in the house I left them, and my uh, granddaughter's house was there, vacated, a small room, like uh, 10, 12 feet room, and with some barn and kitchen and like this. So that was the yeah. uh, initiation of the Gauti Artists Guild, and, and uh, uh, it, it was there for a quite a long time in that same house in Silbukuri. And uh, it was one of the golden period of Gauti Artist Guild that we have all come across. Uh, because that was uh, what, uh, how it was established and that is how uh, things started to move with all the pioneering artists uh, who were behind this. So, uh, Agunda, now coming back to how do you think that painting, if uh, a student, uh, a child, it takes up painting as a profession. What are the things the child have to keep in mind? And from us, uh, because that was the, the, I said the canvas is new to for new form of us. We used to work in the paper only. When the canvas came to the some some, some artists used to do their canvas work. Uh, they brought from uh, Bombay, Calcutta, like only. The rule was there, but we didn't have any money to purchase, uh, get those materials. And painting means, without painting you cannot survive, because, because you will have to work some uh, good work in canvases, so we can display for the people. No, the my, my question was, uh, what would be your uh, suggestion or advice to students who would like to take up painting as a profession? Okay, it's not so easy work. They have to study for a lot of time. They have to use to walk, draw, and observe the things only. One thing, when you observe, you will get the first, you have to work with realistic painting. You say what about drawing, about basic work is to do some um, portrait, some still life, 
say what you see you draw. Okay. Then after doing some work, naturally do some realistic work, then you transform it from to top talks. Not see to talk the oh, it is like that you can uh, draw an apple on the top of a tree. Then that your uh, mind will be it means uh, some creative folks will be happen. It will, you will have to observe and see the things. Before you have to work nicely for realistic painting. Okay. Uh, you have worked for about more than 60 years yeah. in painting. About 60 years. Do you have any regrets that you shouldn't have taken up painting, you should have continued with your science profession? No, no, I don't have any regrets. Okay. But only regret is I when I was so lazy, I could not uh, could not walk very much. You have to walk uh, six, seven canvases, say or ten canvases in a year. Okay. Well, you used to do only one canvas in a year. Like that only uh, because we have lots of thought to to do something by this way, that way, that way. With experiencing with, uh, with color, experiencing with form, experiencing with the. Uh, we have to copy some. Copy means we have to study the, the new modern paintings. And, and you know, I think modern, modern paintings are something different. So, actually, in your mind, the, the, the Indian artist. Who worked in the year this 19, say before independence or after independence? They have some signature work. They have, they have their name. It is a work of Hussein. It is a work of uh, Reddy. It is a work of uh, Anjali Elaman. You know, it is a work of some artist. You can recognize the artist from the painting only. Okay. You don't have to study the who draw this thing. Uh, they, that they like us who they, we know the the also some uh, some works like point point work something to very uh, when I gave so time so much time in giving and uh, making this painting so painfully and it took about near about two three years to complete the painting. And I would uh, say lot of six months like this. And. Uh, you, now it is, it's do you uh, have any kind of memory which uh, uh, gives you that yes, you have done some work satisfactory? Satisfactory so works means uh, uh, from the beginning, from the childhood, I was uh, I want to do some exceptional work. The, the, the people don't it really not goes for this work. No, so, you know what you like to draw a cobbler. Nobody would like to draw a barber. Uh, so, so you then, were always um, painting the common man? The common man, say yes. the common man. Okay. And then after we changed the subject also, after uh, some, uh, you know. Uh, so so uh, my, my memory is, I, from the painting, I said, I used to, I had an exhibition in the, Calcutta, where I took a lot of painting with me, 36, 37, they didn't like that. And every painting was something different. Different means some common, something else. Where I first uh, studied the a, a singers, they say about songs about the singing. If two people sing together, they assemble themselves in a single form. And that I represent with some clothes Colors. drawing, they will have to okay. combine themselves and give something of oh, you can do like this only. From that only I started the this year movement. And two works I used to do. One was uh, with geometrical square form, mm -hmm. where I used to draw dirty gardens, yay people in a square form. And one thing I draw some movement, some movement is there, say about dancing, a Kathak dance or 
some other dance and some other rickshaw puller or doing when there is a force, the automatic lines cut differently. Mm -hmm. So you cannot stick in a form only, only the square or a geometric form. If you turns into a, uh, a force, uh, then the whole, uh, everything is changed in your life. I, I just continued from there. The one of the critics, Manjit Singh and some that you don't go for many forms. You go for one form only. Okay. A circular form, you do circular form. When we do a geometric form, you do. So you, you have evolved your own style. Your own style. Yeah. And you design. So uh, <laughs> that was wonderful talking to Aminul Hawk, a very senior artist of Assam. I'm sure the viewers must have got an insight into this creative genius that uh, was here for with us. And uh, thank you Amrinda for being with us for this uh, show. Thank you. And uh, so that was an episode with, of Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. We had Aminul Hawk as one of our guests today. In our next episode, we'll again talk to another person who will be sharing his life's story with all our viewers. Till then, goodbye.